I came to public knowledge because I wanted to work at a place that valued giving a voice to the voiceless and giving people an opportunity to have their opinions and their stories be heard. Um, and very rarely do you find a place where you can combine both the legal aspects and the human aspects of an issue. And I think public knowledge is a really great job of doing that. Um, and this was a really incredible opportunity to learn both the policy side of things and the legal side of things. Um, as well as the political side of things in one place. What's going to happen uh, next year in the uh, new administration will require a, a lot of issues regarding uh, infrastructure and here at Public Knowledge we're trying to make broadband infrastructure a part of the discussion. Uh, whether that involves deploying in uncertain areas or making it uh, cheaper or more cost effective for consumers to access it in areas where it's already being deployed. I've been working a lot with net neutrality issues since I've been here and while we've laid a lot of the foundation and the groundwork and it's we've made a lot of progress with the issue, there's still a lot to be done, there's still a lot to defend, especially with a changing administration and changing policies. Um, so being able to continue that work and make sure that no matter what we do, we continue to fight for what's best for the consumers. So I'm excited about continuing to work on broadband deployment and affordability issues in the next administration. A lot of what we're going to do will probably require educating stakeholders, educating members of Congress on why these issues continue to remain important, and protecting consumers from uh, lack of competition in the marketplace and ensuring they have quality and affordable access. I think with how quickly technology is changing and how integral it's become in our lives, um, having access to an open internet and having equal opportunities to have your voice heard is no longer an optional luxury, it's a necessity to surviving and I think it's easy for us to forget that there are so many people out there who don't have the same opportunities and the same access that we do um, and unless we continue to fight for them, no one else will. Hi, I'm Public Knowledge Vice President Chris Lewis. Here at Public Knowledge, we're focused on the future. The future of technology and what it means to preserve freedom of expression in an open internet, the future threats to those values. And through our fellows program, the next generation of advocates who will lead future fights to preserve the public interest. We need your help to preserve that future. So please visit publicknowledge.org give and donate today. Thank you.